Hi friends, welcome to Cameron Lucas channel. In this video, I will show you how to create custom date filter options. Uh, for example, uh, we are showing on dashboard which, uh, which is showing the information for the current week. Uh, but user wants to have an option to choose uh, uh, last 4 weeks or last 12 weeks and so on. So, we can provide that using um, the parameters and calculated fields. Okay, so first let me create a calculated field that filters data to the current week. I'm going to name the calculation as date filter. As you know, date diff function uh, returns difference between two dates based on the date part. If you give date part as week, it returns a number of weeks difference or a date comma week. Click OK. Let me drag order date to the rows and see the output. Right click on choose exact date and convert it to discrete. Let me drag this date filter to the text. So we see here uh, by default, a uh, tableau is taking uh, some as aggregation uh, because um, there are multiple records for each date here. So we just need to get the minimum or maximum or average of this one. So I'll just go with minimum so that we get the correct output, correct difference between the order date and today in terms of weeks. Okay, current date is uh, second. July 2021. So if it returns uh, this difference is equal to zero, which means uh, the the date fields is coming under current week. Okay. Let me edit this calculation. Is equal to zero. Click OK. So instead of sum. I will add aggregation function minimum then click OK drag this calculation to the filter shelf and choose true ok now we have the current week information displayed in the view so to provide filter options uh, we can use parameters as you know parameters lets us lets you to change the values dynamically let's parameterize this calculation create parameter name the parameter as choose period select data type as string and provide list of values current week last four weeks last 12 weeks okay you can add a number of options as you wish and then click ok so let's use this parameter in the calculated field date filter Parameter name is choose period is equal to current week. Then sorry, and so we need to check both conditions. User should select current week, and the condition is uh, week difference is equal to zero then we need to get uh, order dates for this period else if selected period is equal to last four weeks
then this should be equal less than or equal to 4 Similarly, write the calculation for another filter option. What is equal to last 14 days less than or equal to 12. Then click OK. Let's see the output of this calculation. Drag this calculation and drag next to the order date. Right click and show parameter control. By default, we are selecting current week. If you see the output of this calculation, you will get that list of dates for the current week only. So that is current week current date is uh, 2nd july so we are getting the data for the current week and if you select last four weeks you will see the so there is some error in the calculation let me check right click and So make sure you are providing the exact uh, value here. Actually it is case sensitive so we need to provide exact value that we have created in the parameter list. Click apply. Okay. So current we are having we are getting the data for last weeks and we need to add another condition depending on your data source. So my data source is containing the data for feature dates also. So that's why I need to write append another condition here. saying that it should be greater than or equal to zero so that you will not see the future dates data when you when the user selected last four weeks then click ok So now we are getting the data for only four weeks and not for the future date values. So to use this calculation in your report, just drag this calculation to the filter cell, select none and then select none, and then check this exclude box and click OK. So now you have the data for only last four weeks the view last 12 weeks and current week that's it guys if you are visiting my channel for the first time please do not forget to subscribe and if you like this video show your support by hitting the like button